set 1450 meters and uh when racing Nice start for them over here. Golden Aspen jumped away well. Up there with the leading line is Just Be Nice. Here, Komi Boki wider out with Radu. They searching for the lead. Duena's handy as well. Just off the leading line, Courageous as midfield. Primrose Path further back in the field. Then came Sound Machine. Banika gives them eight or nine length start. Is racing quite well back in the field. Is Banika racing towards the rear end. And at the back of the field is Heart Peaks. About ten lengths off the leader. Round the side of the course they go towards the 800 metre markets. Here, Komi Boki out in front, a length and a half clear of Radu and Just Be Nice is third. Then came Duena in fourth. Then there's a gap of three lengths back to Golden Aspen and Courageous, followed by Sound Machine, Primrose Path. Further back is Hard Peaks, is quite some way off this leader, and Benica is the trailer. Down the elbow and approaching the home turn. Here they come into the home stretch now, and here Komi Boki led it by two from Just Be Nice in second. Then came Radu. Down the inside is Duena. Further back to Golden Aspen sound machine running on 350 out here Komi Boki clear by three Duen has moved up to second just be nice across the inside then Golden Aspen courageous out the pack it's still here Komi Boki clear by two and a half from Duena in second courageous running on with Golden Aspen but here Komi Boki is done what she did last time out she'll win it by two and a half here Komi Boki beat Duena courageous for third Golden Aspen sound machine just be nice Benica then came Primrose Path nothing from Heart Peaks and Redu so well done to the uh, connections of here Komi Boki Corne Spies is the winning trainer and Cabello Mazzignani rode typically a good race as with the last time out they were very fluent last time out and they won it equally as well today she was bred by Maesh as we mentioned a daughter master my fate out of the mare Ula Var and she'll beat home the top weight. Good run from Duena under Pilasandi back in that second placing. Then Muzzi's got up for third on Courageous. Well, that wraps up my calls today. And uh, it's Nakib Munchi that'll call the last race home, as he will do for tomorrow down at... Cabela, all I can say is well done. This filly, uh, she's good, eh? I think she's going to be all right up here in the half. Felt, uh, you've, you, you read her last time, and I think she won a good race her first time, and I think this is also a very good win. Yes, um, I think she's having a good time here in the high field and she's done everything right. She's got the confidence and I mean even in a race she does everything right. I mean we've stepped up from a six furlong to a seven furlong and she did it very easy. What I like about her mostly is the fact that she gets to the front and she sort of pricked her ears and she relaxes and she does her own thing and when you ask her to extend she, she extends quite nicely and I mean I think she, there's no stopping her from here. Quick question, do you think she can go a mile? The way she is, I think she can. Definitely, there's no doubt that she can go a mile because I know that she can settle as long as you don't fight her. And I um, mean, thanks to, to Mr. Nodi, he's given me every tip that I needed to know about this horse, that the more you pull on her, the more she's going to pull back and she just needs soft hands. And I'm fortunate enough that I can... Um, <laughs> with what I have and, and I, I, I can work with horses that are a little bit sensitive in terms of um, being aggressive on the hands and on the reins. So, I mean, I, I must say we make a good team um, and I'm grateful for all the opportunities that uh, Mr. Spies and his whole team has been giving me. Just a quick one, Cabela. Watching on TV, she looks like she's got a high cruising speed. Am I right? Yes, yeah, she's got a very high cruising speed. It feels like she's doing nothing in front. And I mean, that's why I, I took a peek at the back to see how far they are. And um, it felt like uh, Joanna was making up ground and was coming to catch me. And I mean, I just had to give her a few backhands just to keep her, on the, keep her head on the job because I could feel she's just relaxed and she's doing it very easy. And I feel like if something has to come and challenge her at that late stage, I think she'll still have something left to actually fight them off. So um, I think she's doing everything right at the point. Exciting times ahead. Yes, definitely. Um, there's definitely exciting times ahead. And she's been doing everything right. And I'm um, looking forward to see how she progresses from here. Yeah. Just a quick one uh, before you go, uh, Winchester Mansion. Um, you know, when we went back in the drawing board and we watched what we did and how we got him prepped um, prior to the July, um, James and I actually came to an agreement that we feel like we probably just um, maybe over prepped him. But um, to put it in a nice wedding, I think we um, it was a, not the right prep going into the race. but. Um, Obviously, at that time, our hands were tied. We couldn't get him um, a prep run, so we just had to work with what we had. But um, he's definitely still well in himself. I just feel like he was just above himself, and uh, we we might have just um, over-prepped him a little bit. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Right. Thank you again to my sponsors, Uniform. Thanks to them.
Right, we have Kone coming in. Kone, so nice. Uh, yes, it's, uh, it's so nice to have a filly like this uh, uh, to the owners to bring it up to you. And she says, a gem. looks like she's a gem to train. Yeah, thanks, uh, Johnny. A huge thank you to Brahman Mayes Chitty. Um, uh, she's, she's really done well since she's arrived. And, you know, two from two up here in the higher felt, and she's really won in fine style. So uh, a great thank you to them and a big well done. And a huge thank you to our sponsors, Hollywood Bets in winning form. And and uh, 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 Jaisri uh, 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 Mahabir is having her birthday. She's 39 today, so a shout out to her and, and, and Vishal there in Durban. And uh, yeah, just great to have this filly, and, and she's won a very good race again, Johnny. Well, I think she's going to have a good spring. Uh, I, I mean, there's some nice races coming for her, and luck. Uh, Cabela said if she can get into a mile, uh, there's some nice races for her coming in now, if, especially coming in for our uh, spring season, yeah. Yeah, she's nicely poised for the for the Joburg season uh, uh, coming up and uh, uh, I think I think we'll have a lot of fun with her still and you know I'm sure Brahm he's, he's on the Mediterranean having a holiday and I'm sure he's he's watched and uh, uh, had a couple of bets so good luck to him and, and like I say to my Jetty very very nicely done thank you thank you very much Kone. well done to you Thanks, uh, before we, uh, let's get the groom first let's get him through well done I think you got a nice filly in your hand eh? yes and I have a nice filly and thanks you for the filly yeah there you go you got your 1500 rand from world sports betting congratulations And like I said earlier on, I think this filly is not going to stop here. Thank you to Bram van Heistin and Maas Chetty for sending him, sending her up to Joburg. As you can see, uh, these horses come up here. They they seem to blossom. I don't think this filly is going to stop. I think she's got a very nice spring and summer camp campaign coming up.